Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Planescape Torment. Alright, so there's supposed to be some uh, thugs uh, around here somewhere that should have All right. uh, Merton's head. And the thing is, is that I think I'm at a, a level where the thugs don't automatically attack me anymore. Oh, goody. Hello. Die. Yeah, it died all right. All right, I think we want to fight the thug boss. Let's see if just being close to them, uh... No, no, all right. Let's talk to you. This young but well mess well-muscled thug, while certainly well-armed and large enough to be dangerous, seems awfully clean for a typical street thug. He's carrying a massive axe in one hand and a steel box in the other. As you near him, near him he pulls, puffs up and scowls at you. What are you looking at, Sot? Bike off before I scrag you! Scrag? What in the nine planes of Bato are you talking about, you idiot? Scrag's nag, nip. Yanked by the hard net. Hardheads, you clueless Adelcove Burke. He glares daggers at Anna, but says nothing. You do seem a little well-groomed for a thug. Stop shaking your bone box, Leatherhead. This is my territory, and you'll be leaving it quick if you don't want my bloods to tear you apart. Anna snickers, shaking her head. Rattle, you sod. Rattling your bone boxes, it is. I'd so like to see how how long you'd last drop smack in the middle of the hive, acting as you are. Anna turns to you. Come on, let's be off. No use wasting our time in this wee-stemmed basher would be. His face flushes angrily as he gnashes his teeth in frustration. That's it. You've piked and asked for it. Get him, bloods. He raises his axe and leaps to attack. All right, let's fight. Do 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 do. Uh, I'm looking back. What's up? Endure. Hi? In enduring grow strong. Ignis hears you. Yes? Well, let's actually do that. May my face lend me strength. Alrighty. Uh, you are attacking. Let's cast some spells. What do we want to cast? Um, let's try that. I assume that's... Oops. Maybe it's, uh, just... There we go. Do not like being this close to the, uh, bottom of the screen, just because it's, uh, kind of annoying. Yeah. Huh? So you're attacking that one. How may I help? You're attacking that one, that's fine. What? All right. Last one. Daytime is over. Alrighty. Steel box. Well, let's go ahead and take the uh, money. What's up, Chief? Scroll of magic missile. That's uh, not bad. Hmm? A cranium rat charm. I hear your words. Oh, and I also uh, can go up a level, and I completely forgot about that. All right, level up. All righty. Uh, wow, I'm almost ready to go up another level, too. Um, so I'll get that for now. I'll get two of those.
I'll pick up one of those. What was this again? Um, ah, yes. Alright, no, that's fine. I kind of like Swarm Curse. One to six points of damage uh, is not very good at a for a second level spell. I I feel. I get another swarm curse. I kind of like the area of effects. Um, what else? Another one of those. All right. Alrighty, got all of the items. The sturdy steel box is a thick leather handle on the top, but there's no apparent way to open the thing. It appears to be welded shut. There are a number of very narrow slits along one side that you can't quite see into the box. A sickly sweet rotting smell wafts from the slits. Alright, well, let's see if we can just, uh, head back here. Alright, Merton. And greetings. Uh, grab its hand. Done. Okay. So I need to open this somehow, huh? Oh. Talk to item. The sturdy steel box has a thick leather handle on the top, but there's no apparent way to open the thing. It appears to be welded shut. There are a number of very narrow slits along the side, blah, 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 blah. Uh, as you examine the container more closely, it shifts slightly in your hands. Something's moved inside it. There's a man's voice from within. Uh, oh, there is someone there by chance. My name's Mertwin. Anyone? Hail? Uh, yes. Greetings. Thank the powers. Have you seen my body by chance? It's hard to miss him. Stumbling... Stumbles about with a silly wooden head on its shoulders. He must have worn his feet down to Stubbs looking for me by now. Uh, y yes, in the Civic Fest Hall, where we are right now. My good fortune, then. Could I persuade you to return me to him, good sir? Uh, yeah, I'll do it for you. Updated my journal. How splendid! I thank you kindly, then, sir. If you don't mind now, uh, we'll hold off speaking any further until you... I'm with my body again. Uh, but I had some questions. I'm sure you do, sir, coming across a severed speaking head locked in an iron case. Why, it's almost like it's Ultima 7 or something, part 2. But it will have to wait. Very tiresome being separated from my body, you see. My humblest apologies. All right, then. D -d -d talk, thank you. Uh, this must be Mertwin's body. Mertwin's voice suddenly echoes from within the steel box. Oh, oh, there it is! That's my body! Say there, old chum, over here! The body shuffles towards you, reaching out towards the steel box containing Mertwin's head. Uh, allow Mertwin's body to take his head. Updated my journal. 8,000 experience points. Ah, much better! Thank you! I thank you, good sir! I imagine my body here was getting a bit restless without me. The body hugs the steel box tightly. Yes, I miss you too. The body tucks the case under its arm and bows to you. As for you, good sir, you certainly deserve some sort of reward for your trouble. Let's see what I've got now. The body fumbles about in its pockets and finding nothing there in its tunic. Finally, it presents you with several handfuls of copper coins. Thanks, Mertwin. I had some questions. Certainly, ask whatever you'd like. How, how do you end up uh, the way you are? 
I'm not sure, really. The body set me down in one of the lecture halls, and the next thing I knew, someone had absconded with me. Next thing I remember was being picked up by you. But what I meant was, how did you lose your head? I mean, was it over just, uh, you know, a girl? Did you lose your head over a girl or something? The body stif stiffens visibly. Oh, we don't like to talk about it. Quite horrible, really. What's past is past. No need to dredge it up. Though I will say I'm in the box because my head's not quite as presentable as my body, if you get my meaning. I had another question. What are you doing here? I mostly amble around the fest hall. You know, lumber here, lumber, lumber there. I'm not a sensate, mind you, but I just like to watch all the different sorts of people milling about. I had another question. I'm not going to ask about the sensates because I know what they are. Uh, can you tell me about this place? Mertwin sounds confused. Doesn't everybody know about the Civic Fest Hall? Hmm. Well, it's the faction quarters for the sensates, and perhaps more importantly, it holds the uh, sensoriums. Uh, I already know about both those. Uh, what do you know about Ravel Puzzlewell? What do you know about Saren? Ravel can't really recall the woman. Alright, I had another question then, and never mind, Mertwin. Farewell. Got some XPs and some uh, GPs, or CPs as the uh, case may be. I would really like to understand the conversion factor for copper coins uh, from this land to, uh, you know, every single prime material world. Um. Alright. Where you be? I'm gone. Where'd you go? There you are. Uh, yes, I have a handkerchief. I have that handkerchief. Updated my journal. 40,000 experience points. Sai takes the handkerchief and gingerly pricks the tip of her finger on one of her fangs. After letting several drops of blood soak into the cloth, she returns it to you. You're placing yourself in grave danger, you know. Even if the stories of my mother are greatly exaggerated, she's horribly powerful and completely evil. Good luck. Yes, so I've heard. Thanks and farewell. I feel stronger. Excellent. Ready. And Anna, you can level up as well. Uh... Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Three hit points gain. One point from Constitution. Mm, it's going to be a while before she levels up anymore. It is now my turn to level up. There we go. I can get Fire and Ice now. Just that one spell. Uh, I'm not uh, missing anything from you, am I? No. What level are you again? You... Nope, wrong person. You're mage level 7. Alright, so I am now a higher level uh, mage than Dakon. I mean, I get a lot of experience points, so... All right, uh, let's take a look at our journal. Find the Night Hag. Uh, all right. So apparently the uh, the purple ones are ones that I did not read. Uh, white ones are ones that I have read. So, well, you know, whatever.
there is no indication that uh, how I use this. Let's quick save. Let's see if I just use it. No. The silk handkerchief has some of Kasai Saris's blood on it. How do I go about using that? Let's pop into the journal. Let's see. Um, what about maze? Uh... Okay, yeah, it doesn't say exactly where I need to do go to use this. Hmm. All right. We've seen... Have we been anywhere obvious? Uh, maybe I put it in my quick item slot? No. Still want to find a uh, small hammer. Actually, I could probably go look that up and figure out what that, what hammer would work Done. on that statue. Whoa! Whoops! Wrong button. Hmm. I am uh, really not sure where we're actually supposed to go to use this thing. Well, we do have more spells, so let's go take a rest. I mean, I don't want to just wander around until I find where I'm supposed to use this. I'm trying to remember if I've heard Done. anyone say anything about where, uh... Where it might be used. Hmm. Well, we do have some items that we can sell. Still don't don't know what I'm going to do with all this cheese. If it can even be usable can be even be used at all. All right. So, uh hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I'm completely blanking on where I might be uh where I might be able to find the gate. Or the portal. Well, hmm. I'm gone. I'm just trying, like, sitting here thinking, like, running through the various places that we've been, uh, see if there's anything that, that jumps out at me as a potential place. Uh, and I am... I'm not thinking... I, I cannot think of anything. My lungs feel like a chimney. Done. Well, you should probably stop smoking then, there, Anna. What was in here again? Completely forgetting. Oh yeah, the pawn shop.
Uh, do they have anything that I want? I don't know, but I might be able to sell some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all of that. Sell the battle axe. Oh, uh, this apparently can be used in the um, mortuary, so maybe we'll go run over there and do that. What about this back here? No? No? Alright. That's not it. Okay, let's go to the mortuary. Uh, how do I get in again? Down here, maybe? Was it up there? Done. All right. Well, this is where we came out. Done. Can you smuggle me into the mortuary? Yeah, we'll do that. Fall into darkness. Uh, encore, encore. Yep. Just seeing you crawl back to life like that gives me the shivers. Uh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, how about we go down? Don't mind me, Mr. Dustman Guard. Alright, let's uh, quick save here. And the Tome of Bone and Ash. Nope. Uh, let's see. Examine the skeleton carefully. Examine the armor. Study the symbols. Almost unconsciously, you let your gaze relax as you look at the symbols. After a moment, the symbols cease shifting and resolve into a trail of runes that run up and down the breastplate. Strangely enough, the interlocking pattern of runes reminds you of chains. And with that thought, you suddenly recall the, that these runes are some sort of warding enchantment. Study the runes, try to recall the enchantment. You study the pattern of runes as they weave their way across the breastplate. On its most basic level, the runes are a lesser armoring enchantment, but several skull-shaped runes and spherical tracings along the edges of the armor make you suspect that several greater necromantic and warding enchantments are woven in as well. Touching the skeleton will most likely cause it to awaken and defend itself. Let's see if you can dispel the enchantment somehow. You suspect that marring the rune pattern along the breastplate, breastplate could unravel the enchantments, but it looks difficult. The pattern is complicated, and scratching out the, wood, the wrong portion could cause the skeleton to animate. Compare the pattern to the enchantments in the Tome of Bone and Ash. See if you can determine how they can be broken. From what you can make out of the tome, it seems the armoring enchantment applies only to the breastplate. The necromantic enchantment allows the skeleton to be raised, but it is the warding enchantment that gives the skeleton its limited awareness of its surroundings. You'd guess that if you were to mar the skeleton's wards, it would interpret it as an attack, unless you blinded it to your presence first. 
Are the runes m maintaining the armoring enchantment first, then the necromantic, then the warding? Let's show more. Are the runes maintaining the warding enchantment first? Then backward then work backward through the rune pattern, canceling the necromantic, then the armoring enchantment. Um Alright, so yes, we want to start with the warding. The work is difficult and nerve-wracking at first, but slowly your mind begins to focus, and the runes begin to unravel beneath your attack. Within minutes, the giant skeleton has been stripped of its of the enchantments, binding it. It collapses, falling to the floor with a crash of bones and a heavy clang clanging noise. Damn it, pile of bones! You wait for a moment, but no one responds to the sound. Moving quickly, you sift through the skeleton's parts on the floor. Most of it is too heavy or too old to be useful, but you discover a piece of the skeleton's breastplate with the majority of one of the broken enchantments engraved upon it. You have the feeling it could prove useful. I'll just take it then. Rune of Lesser Warding Armor. See if you can dispel the enchantments. Uh, warding first. Canceling the network. Yeah, okay. That's what I want. Let's see what we got this time. Shield. Wait, two of these are one is a rune of lesser warding, one is a rune of armor, but they do the exact same thing. Do I have both of those uh, spells? I have armor, and I have shield, so yes, I do. All right. Was there another one over here? There was. Oh, use your story's bones tell ability on the skeleton. Okay. And a rune of shielding. Why five items for the exact same thing? And there's nothing there. Alright, well, we, uh... Got that. Not sure what else we could do around here. We could try talking to, uh, Dayanara again. I suppose. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. See if she has anything new to say now that we've, uh, you know, regained some of her memory and actually know who she is. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.